All right, guys, today we're going to learn about using this cable tester to test an Ethernet cable. So to test an Ethernet network cable. Now, um, I have one plugged in, but let me pull this out for a second. Now, this tester um, snaps together or slides together like this as one piece, but you can also pull it apart like this. This way you can put this one at the far end of a cable really far away and still test it. So you see it has RJ11, RJ45, RJ45, RJ11. So you could use this for testing RJ11 or RJ45. Now, this comes with a, uh, or you use a nine volt battery for it. It doesn't come with a battery, but um, yeah, I used a uh, Amazon Basics battery. And um, <clears throat> let's see, so, and if you, you wanna know where to buy this, just check the link in the description. It's an affiliate link. So basically plug both ends of your ethernet cable in here. This is RJ45. And you'll see it's off right now. Now you can turn it to on or S. S just means slow, on is normal. So let's test this out. Turn this on and you'll see it, it's green for every one of those, for all eight of those little wires. So that basically, that's basically all there is to it. It's the cable's good. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna actually purposely damage this cable and show you what it looks like then. Now if we change this to S, you see it's just a little bit slower. All right, so nothing exciting there. And this is full speed right here. So now I'm gonna damage the cable and see how it looks different. So turn it off for now. And let's just damage this cable. And later on, I'm gonna use this crimper to show you how to create a new cable. So after I damage this, I'm going to cut the end off and just put a new RJ45 plug on the end and then um, use this crimper to crimp the, crimp the new plug. But I'm gonna do that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. I'll be releasing that one shortly after this video. Maybe not the very next video, but coming up really soon. I'll be showing you how to use this nice um, cable crimper, which is a really neat tool that I've had for many, many years. So let's go ahead and just destroy this cable real quick. So I'm gonna take my eyes off the camera for a bit, or maybe not, you know, I'll bring this right up to where the camera is, and I'm gonna make sure I cut like only a portion of this, and there we go. I think I did not cut every, every cable in there, so yeah, there we go. Some of these are cut, and some of these are not. Um, yeah, on the camera, you're not getting a great view of that, so apologies for that. Let me see if I can zoom in on that, maybe I can't. Uh, yeah, there we go. So some of those are cut, some of them are not. So let's let's try this on the tester again, just to see what it would look like if it's failing. So here's a failed network cable. Turn this on. Number three, number five, number seven, and number eight work. So half of them were cut, and half of them are totally fine. If you if you want to make sure your cable is fully intact, all you have to do is just make sure all of these are, you know, all eight pin all eight pins or all eight cables inside. Are, um, are showing up green. We're only seeing half of them show up green, so that's a good indication that the cable is is uh, broken. Now, in this case, it's really obvious, but a lot of times it might be something inside, like the cable got bent too much and something broke inside, and you wouldn't even be able to see it, or maybe one of the one of the cables pulled out of the, the RJ45 connector or something like that. So a lot of things can go wrong and you might have a bad cable and have no idea and it might be a huge pain to troubleshoot that on your switch and between your switch and your, your server or your PC or whatever device you have connected to this. So it's a good idea to have one of these testers. They're really cheap. I would even buy one for home use, but definitely if you're doing a lot of cabling like in a data center or something, it's a really handy tool to have. Um, and definitely if you have a home lab and you just want to be familiar with this stuff just pick one up they're really cheap on amazon so that's it that's that's the entire test for today um stay tuned for another video coming up where i show you how to create a, a cable from scratch or just replace the end on a cable but stay tuned for that um subscribe if you want to see more more content like this hit the little bell icon if you want an alert when i come up with a new video and um you know give me a thumbs up leave any comments criticism or questions in the in the comments below and always, as always hopefully enjoy you enjoyed watching this